certain she is fled. Go in and cheer the king. He rages and none dare come about here. All the better. May this not forestall him of the coming day. I love and hate her. But Imogen is fair and royal and has all courtly parts more exquisite than lady. Ladies, woman, <laughs> from every one, the best she has, and she of all compounded, outsells them all. I love her, therefore, but disdaining me and throwing favors on that low posthumous slander so her judgment that once else prayer is choked. And in that point, I will conclude to hate her, nay, indeed, to be revenged on her. For when fool shall all, oh, 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 oh. who is here? What are you packing, woman? Come hither, oh, you precious pander. Missy, where is your lady in a word? Or else you're straight away with the fiend. Oh, good my lord. Where is your lady? Or by Gabriel, I will not ask again. Close, Missy. I will have this secret from your heart, or rip your heart to find it. Is she with posthumous? Yes, my lord, how can she be with him? With what she missed, he's up north. Where is she, girl? No, come here! No further halt and satisfy me home. What is become of her? Oh, my all-worthy lord! All-worthy pixie! Discover where your mistress is at once, at the next word! No more of worthy lord. Speak, or your silence on the instant is your condemnation and your death. Then, sir, this paper is the history of my knowledge touching her flat. Let's see it. He's far enough already, and what he learns by this becomes his problem, not her danger. Oh. All right, to my lord, she's dead. Oh, Imogen, safe, may you wander, safe, return again. Woman, is this letter true? Sir, as I think. It is in his posthumous hand. I know it. Missy, if you would not be a villain, but do me true service, Undergo those employments wherein I should have cause to use you with a serious industry. That is what villainy so e'er I bid you do to perform it directly and truly. I should think you an honest fellow. You should neither want my means for your release nor my voice for your preferment. Well, my good lord. Would you serve me? Give me your hand. Here's my purse. <laughs> have you any of your master's garments in your possession? I have it, my lodging. The same suit he wore when he took leave of my lady and mistress. The first service you do me. Fetch that suit and bring it hither. Let it be your first service. Go! I shall, my lord. Oh, meet you at Newford Haven.